straightening up now for the final flight in the GLT handicap and it's in the center elusive Ivy who comes now to head Lord Ben and then Pinky Brown the broke in here for the crack and then Mr. Bossman Pac-Man Sir Scorpion Crown Theatre Bill Bush ACU all in Corpus Patio over the last elusive Ivy the mare hits the front on the run in now it's elusive Ivy chased by the broke in then Pac-Man and on the inside is Pinky Brown elusive Ivy is going to cling on and win elusive Ivy beats the broke in Pac-Man see you all in Copper's fourth this year and then Pinky Brown Crown Theatre and Bill Boucher straightening up now for the final flight in the GLT handicap and it's in the center elusive Ivy who comes now to head Lord Ben and then Pinky Brown the broke in here for the crack and then Mr. Bossman Pac-Man Sir Scorpion Crown Theatre Bill Boucher see you all in Corpus Patio over the last elusive Ivy the mare hits the front on the run in now it's elusive Ivy chased by the broke in then Pac-Man and on the inside is Pinky Brown elusive Ivy is going to cling on and win. Lelusive Ivy beats the Brock in. Pac-Man see you all in Copper's fourth this year. And then Pinky Brown Crown Theatre and Mr. 51 next with Jackson's Lady and they're being followed by Sizing Cadelco. He's our man. Dezo Tellers drop back over the second last. Rock the world. Still the one to pass as they come down towards the final fence. Bright New Dawn is now shaken up. Then Mr. 51 and Sizing Cadelco is staying on as they come down towards the final fence. Rock the world with Bright New Dawn now. Getting into gear on the near side. Then heads the long time leader. Rock the world. And it's Bright New Dawn and Brian Cooper from Rock the World as they go to the line. Bright New Dawn beats Rock the World in 30 sides in Cadelco. Mr. 51, Jackson's Lady. Mr. 51 next with Jackson's Lady and they're being followed by Sides in Cadelco. He's our man. Dezo Tellers drop back over the second last. Rock the World still the one to pass as they come down towards the final fence. Bright New Dawn is now shaken up. Then Mr. 51 and Sides in Cadelco is staying on as they come down towards the final fence. Rock the the world with bright new dawn now getting into gear on the near side then heads the long time leader rock the world and it's bright new dawn and brian cooper from rock the world as they go to the line bright new dawn beats rock the world in 30 sides in cadelco mr 51 jackson's lady dace hotel and next racing now around the home turn they've won to jump in the FPD cross country chase for the little two cash the Touch Cup and in the lead is Quantitative Easing from Cantlow and Ballyboker Bridge. Is it going to be an end of Bulger? JP McManus runners finish. Quantitative Easing from Cantlow. Ballyboker Bridge is in third. They've got 100 yards to go. Quantitative Easing from Cantlow. Quantitative Easing second last year wins this time. Bates Cantlow a 1 2 for EB and JP. Ballyboker Bridge in third. Uncle Junior is fourth the little two cush the touch cup and in the lead is quantitative easing from Cantlow and Ballyboker Bridge is it going to be an end of Bulger JP McManus runners finish quantitative easing from Cantlow Ballyboker Bridge is in third they've got a hundred yards to go quantitative easing from Cantlow quantitative easing second last year wins this time Bates Cantlow a one two for EB and JP Ballyboker Jenny's Jewel, who's running a stormer, then Alpha Dezo Bow and Shane Sill, both who had the misfortune of bumping into the Great Thistle Crack in their travels to Cheltenham and Aintree, then Diamond King. They're coming down towards the final flight now. Jenny's Jewel, one track mind. Shane Sill on the near side is pulled to deliver his challenge. Alpha Dezo Bow is beaten the final flight, and Shane turns on the floor. One track mind, the leader from Jenny's Jewel, running up towards the finish. 
action, dramatic closing stages, and one track mind is the Ladbrokes champion stairs. It goes across the water. Gavin Sheehan and Warren Great tracks the combination. One track mind beats Jenny's jewel, Alfred Dezobo. They're coming down towards the final flight now. Jenny's jewel, one track mind. Shane's Hill on the near side is pulled to deliver his challenge. Alfred Dezobo is beaten the final flight, and Shane turns on the floor. One track mind the leader from Jenny's jewel running up towards the finish in dramatic closing stages. And one track mind is the Ladbrokes. Brooks champion stairs. It goes across the water. Gavin Sheehan and Warren Great tracks the combination. One track mind beats Jenny's jewel. Alfred Dezobo, Diamond King, and if and Dan On the run now towards the final flight in the Murray Spellman handicap hurdle, it's Jury Judy and Jack Kennedy in the lead, being chased in second place. Burgess and David Mullins, Tarabin is staying on towards the inside, racing down now to the final flight, and it is Jury Judy who's in the lead now from the back of the field. Cup final is beginning to run on very strongly. Jury Judy wandering around in the lead. Cup final is putting in a strong run with Burgess on the far side and up towards the finish. Jury Judy with cup final on the far side as they hit the line. It's going to be cup final on the far side with Robbie Power from Jury Judy. Burgess and David Mullins, Tarabin is staying on towards the inside racing down now to the final flight and it is Jury Judy who's in the lead now from the back of the field cup final is beginning to run on very strongly Jury Judy wandering around in the lead cup final is putting in a strong run with Burgess on the far side and up towards the finish Jury Judy with cup final on the far side as they hit the line it's going to be cup final on the far side with Robbie Power from Jury Duty, and then Tarabin followed in by Burgess with Haymount in fifth place. Two fences left to jump in the Ryanair chase, and Duvan striding along out three to four lengths in front. As they battle for the second spot at this point, it's Sizing John and the game changer on the near side trying to improve and racing now towards the final fence. Duvan is the leader from the game changer as they come to the last in the Ryanair. Duvan is over and five lengths in front of the game changer in third Sizing John and up towards the finish. Duvan extends his winning ways. What a horse Duvan is. Scores readily for Rich Ritchie and Willie Mullins. Second home is the game changer with Sizing John third. Two fences left to jump in the Ryanair chase and Duvan striding along out three to four lengths in front. As they battle for the second spot at this point, it's Sizing John and the game changer on the near side trying to improve and racing now towards the final fence. Duvan is the leader from the game changer as they come to the last in the Ryanair. Duvan is over and five lengths in front of the game changer in third Sizing John and up towards the finish. Duvan extends his winning ways. What a horse Duvan is. Scores readily for Rich Ritchie and Willie Mullins. Second home is the game changer with Sizing John third and they're followed in by Baltimore Rock and Tabo. Off the bend and beginning the run for the final flight. And Missy Tata, Jack Kennedy leads ten times better. And Barry Garrity with Miska on the outside for Paul Townend as they race down now towards the final flight. Missy Tata is the leader from ten times better Miska and Rhea Detell. And coming down now towards the final flight, it is Missy Tata who stretched right away and is clear over the final flight. Battling away for second, Rhea Detell on the inside with ten times better. But out in front and clear, Missy Tata, compensation for Jack Kennedy and Gordon Elliott. The narrow defeat of the jury. And second home is Rhea Detell. And third is ten times better, Miska is fourth. And Barry Garrity with Miska on the outside for Paul Townend as they race down now towards the final flight. Missy Tata is the leader from ten times better Miska and Rhea Detell. And coming down now towards the final flight, it is Missy Tata who stretched right away and is clear over the final flight. 
battling away for second, Rhea de Tell on the inside with ten times better, but out in front and clear, Missy Tata, compensation for Jack Kennedy and Gordon Elliott, the narrow defeat of your jury, and second home is Rhea de Tell, and third is ten times better, Miska is fourth, Invitation only in front from Balayla Boy to Kaga and going wide blast of Kerman. Been a good festival for Robert Tyner and he could be going close again here. They're well strung out in behind. Now he says go on invitation only. He's made all so far. Blurst of Kerman is the challenger. Back in third, Sonny May and then to Kaga in fourth. Invitation only for Patrick Mullins. Still he won't go away. Barry O'Neill on blast of Kerman. But this time they had a great scrap on day one. It looks like Patrick Mullins will get the better of the argument and go to the top of the jockey's title race at the festival by a length or so. Invitation only maintains his unbeaten record. Second home blast of Kerman, Sonny Lake to Kagawa, then fifth home. Been a good festival for Robert Tyner, and he could be going close again here. They're well strung out in behind. Now he says go on invitation only. He's made all so far. Blurst of Kerman is the challenger. Back in third, Sonny May, and then to Kagawa in fourth. Invitation only for Patrick Mullins. Still he won't go away. Barry O'Neill on blast of Kerman. But this time they had a great scrap on day one. It looks like Patrick Mullins will get the better of the argument and go to the top of the jockey's title race at the festival by a length or so. Invitation only maintains his unbeaten record. Second home blast of Kerman, Sunny Lake to Kagawa, then fifth home.